Hello, my art-loving friends. Today we get to look at this fall color sheet set. This just releases today, so if you want to make sure you get it before it sells out, click the link in the description box below and you can get 10% off. They also offer free shipping if your order is over, I believe, $30. I'm excited though to look at this new color selection, so let's just get right into it. The first thing you notice is you have a fun little band that is personalized by whoever made this for you. It says, hi, I am Gioti. Nothing beats a stroke of vermilion to brighten up a canvas. Hope this color adds a nice zest to your painting. Very nice. With these Viviva color sheets, they give you a place in the front to put your name and Instagram account so that you can be contacted if you happen to lose these. They also have a place on every single one for a swatch down below. One thing that you will notice with Viviva color sheets is that the actual swatch does not match what they put for the colors down here. So you do need to swatch them yourself. We're gonna start with that just to see what all these beautiful new fall colors are and then we'll use them in a painting. Starting with the crimson. So here is a good example. This is what the color looks like swatched, but this is the color they have for crimson on the color sheet. I wish they would do a better job of matching these because they just don't match at all. Oh well, good thing they leave you a place to swatch them yourself because we'd be in trouble otherwise. Brick red. There are semi-transparent divider sheets in between these so that you can close them if you need to before they are dry. Although it is best to close them after they are dry, but you don't have to. Dusk orange, a little bit lighter than it shows on the swatch down there. Not too much different though, at least in that one. Autumn leaf. This one is fire. Look at the gold sheen on that color sheet. And then let's see what it looks like. Very pretty. And the one I am most excited about is this happy yellow. I love a bright yellow. It just makes my day. Let's see what that looks like. So here's what I suspected. It is a beautiful bright yellow, but look at what it shows on the printout. It is more of a green yellow. It is not a green yellow. It's a beautiful, Beautiful bright yellow. So don't believe these. <laughs> Tree bark brown. Oh wow, I love a dark brown and that fits the bill. Look at that, that's beautiful. Earth brown. Very nice. So this has a green tint to it. A little bit different than the one above it only because of that slightly green tint. Now we have light green. Wow, very nice. Much brighter than I expected. Bottle green, look, this color sheet looks purple. But let's see what it looks like. Swatched out, oh yeah, there you go. This is one of those fun ones that sheen's kind of a metallic purple. But the color is peacock blue, which is so fun. Let's see what that looks like. You would expect it to be some kind of purple, right? But no. It is that beautiful, bright peacock blue color. Now we have ink blue. This is one I don't believe I've ever tried. Okay, so that's really dark. Let me lighten that out a bit so you can see that. So I can see that. So maybe an indigo with a purple tint. You can't quite see the purple in the camera screen, but it's very purple leaning. I would say this ink blue matches the peacock blue swatch they put on way more than anything else, but yeah, no, it is what it is. You gotta make your own swatches every time. Now we come to the page that I'm really excited about because for some reason, I love pastel watercolors and we have four pastel watercolors here. Let's start with the pastel pink. Yes, very nice. So even though it's pastel, I can still see the black lines through it pretty clearly. So it doesn't have to be opaque if you have it in a light wash. Here's the pastel orange. Same thing, very nice. Very happy with that, it's beautiful. Pastel green. 
Oh no, not pastel green at all. Just a beautiful bright green. And pastel blue, sheen's a little purple as well. That looks a lot like the peacock blue. Quite pretty. Okay, I put a lot of water on that one. I'm probably not gonna be able to shut that for a while, even with the dividers. We'll blot that up a bit. And then there is a code. If you need more color sheets, you can get a discount. Little divider. And then in the back, there's a fold out place so that you can have some kind of mixing area if this is all you have with you. So I'll let these dry and then I'll show them to you real quick one more time. And they are dry. They don't look much different from when I swatched them, which is good. <laughs> Not a huge drying shift. You can see when I shut them wet, how the divider paper acts, which is great. Gives you that little barrier so you can shut them wet even though they do recommend that you wait until they dry. You don't have to. There you go. So I just recently got back from traveling and I brought this little travel kit with me. And I have this sketchbook in here. And in this sketchbook, I have been playing with the prompts from Doodle Wash's August list because they're very fun. And you can see what I've done so far. This is Seaside, Dahlia, Hot Air Balloon, Pollinator, Houseplant. And I haven't finished that one yet, but it's the start for Ladybird. So on this page, we can start another one. And we can just look at the list and see if there's anything here that catches our attention. Now today is the 21st. Magpie is the prompt for today, but we don't have to follow the prompt list exactly. We can see if there's anything in here that might be a little bit more fall themed. And nothing is specifically fall themed, but there are a lot of really fun prompts. So let's just pick one and paint with these fall color sheets. And see what we come up with. I've decided to use the prompt umbrella, which is actually day 27. But there are some beautiful pastel colors in here, as you have seen. And I think using the umbrella prompt would be great. I have painted umbrellas in the past for my Patreons and I have showed you guys here on my main channel. So I'll link that video in the corner in the description box below. And it just seems like one that I can never get tired of. I love painting umbrellas. I love it so much. We're going to do it. I won't bore you with the sketching process, but I will bring you back right after I'm done. I have my little sketch here. Maybe it's not perfect, but I don't care. It's fun. <laughs> and I am still dying to use this happy yellow color. So let's do that. We're going to make one of these umbrellas a very happy yellow. This one, probably the front and center one. And I didn't lighten my pencil lines so that you guys could see them better, but if I were doing this for something more serious than a sketchbook, I would have lightened my pencil lines. However, we are gonna make the outline of this umbrella dark. So we'll probably cover those pencil lines anyway, and it won't really matter. That is a beautiful yellow color. Doesn't matter if we go out of the lines because like I said, we're adding other color to it. Now, we need to move to the pastels, the part I'm most excited about. Pastel pink. In we go. Wow, look at that. That is fun. Pastel orange. We have to do pastel orange. Right here. That's pretty. That's more like a new gamboge color. I really like it. And I went way out of the lines. It's a good thing it doesn't matter. I'm not doing good with staying in the lines today. Look how it can lighten up to a beautiful, almost lemon yellow color. That's really pretty. But if you want to keep it dark, just add a little more pigment. Time for the pastel green. and the pastel blue. Wow, that is so vibrant. Holy moly. Wow. These fall color sheets come with the 16 colors that you've seen here in this video. They are explosively vibrant. Paint anywhere. This is on the box in the advertisement there. You can do up to 30 paintings, which after my use it up challenge that I am still doing. <laughs> it's an ongoing thing. I believe that. Definitely probably up to 30 paintings unless you're really good at using all of one color. Vegan friendly and these are handmade as you saw 
by the envelope that went around the color sheets. They are uh, approximately $22 for 16 colors and you can find it on their website and you can use the discount code below for 10% off. And now we can repeat some colors. So I'm going to put the pastel green over here and the pastel pink back up here. And now we can fill in the background with a beautiful dark color. And we have a lot of really pretty dark colors to choose from. From the crimson, the autumn leaf, to these beautiful browns, or maybe this beautiful ink blue. That would make a beautiful background. In fact, I think we're going to do the ink blue background. So I am really excited to do the background. Now I am using this cute little five by five watercolor sketchbook that I got years ago and I showed it in a video which I'll try to find if I can, it's so long ago, but I'll link it in the corner or in the description box below. However, we cannot find these little cats and dogs cover anymore, but they do have other cute covers. It is not cotton paper, but if you know how to deal with other kinds of paper, then this will be just fine. But because it is not cotton, or even if it were, I would probably still water the entire background first. I got a little on the umbrella and it's leaking into there. So these are very reactivatable, if that's a word it is now, which does not hurt my feelings because having some of the umbrella color come into the background is actually really cool. Wow, look how much that activates. That is more than I anticipated. It's gonna be kind of neat. So I suspect with this non cotton paper. I may have to water this a few times and it is just blowing my mind how these are reactivating, which actually is perfect for this particular painting. Just remember this is going to happen if you have a painting where you don't want it to reactivate into your background because it takes nothing to reactivate these, a tiniest touch of water and they're ready to go. After wetting the whole background, I dropped in the ink blue here and you can see that it doesn't move a whole lot in water, at least not on this paper, but it is fully strong and gorgeous. So you don't have to use a lot of the paint to get a large payout. It's so nice, so great for sketchbook work. These are dye based, so you may not want to use them in big work unless you're planning on scanning it, which you guys probably all know by now. A lot of people have reviewed these color sheets in the past, but if you're new to them, just keep an eye out for fading. I will be doing light fast testing on them, so I'll let you know how that goes in, you know, three, six months, year. We'll do all the usual updates for light fast testing. Now I want to touch some of the blue and make it bleed into the umbrellas. Maybe grab some from the color sheet itself. And this part's really fun where you can give these umbrellas a little bit of life and light, dimension, shading, and so on by using some of the background color here. And now I want some white highlights and Viviva sent me these acrylic markers, which I believe they are selling out of, stopping making them in other words. However, there's a white in here. So if these are still on their site, they will probably be discounted or on sale, same thing. But I'm gonna shake them up and see if we can use the white for some of the beautiful rainy white highlights that we get in a rainy scene if the sun is coming out as it's starting to end the rain. Now these are interesting acrylic markers because they have the chisel nib here and a bullet nib on the other side. So depending on what side you want, you just flip it over and you have the nib you need. And just as with any other acrylic paint marker, you dip it to activate it. That activates really quickly, so beware of that. But it's kind of cool because we can add some really bright highlights on here. It's a lot more opaque even than I anticipated it being. That is pretty fun. And we'll use some of this white to put just some maybe raindrop looking things. Snow, rain, I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. All right, between the very nice, bright and vibrant colors of the new fall color sheet and the power of a white acrylic marker, 
We have a very fun painting for the prompt umbrella. What are you guys going to paint today? Are you following this list at all? It is a great list. It has so many fun things on it. I can't wait to do some more off of it. Remember, you can get 10% off and free shipping over a certain amount if you are interested in the new limited edition fall color set here. As far as almost discontinued things, go find them while you can, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now!